Hi there, everybody. Um, one student asked me for a video on step functions, which traditionally we learn them as U of T. But uh, more generically, if um, U of X, um, well, if you want to plot U of X, you plot everything as one for X larger than zero and zero everywhere else, which is for x le less than zero. But x can be anything. For uh, purposes of 285 in circuits, we're not going to get to very complicated x's. But let's say um, if x is a function of time, and it's, it's uh, like x plus 3 times Oops, you know, not x, t plus 3 times t minus 4. This gives us a second order polynomial equation. Uh, t squared minus t minus 12. But we know that the roots are uh, minus 3 and 4. So really what happens is this would be a par parable. Not that I know exactly how to drive, but... Um, so every time, every area here where this function is larger than zero, which is here where I'm painting and here, the u of x, u of x, which is what I'm going to draw in purple, will be 1, and then at 3 it goes to 0, at minus 3 it goes to 0, and then at 4 it goes back to 1. So really, you could have... Um, you know, two areas or more. If it's a third or a polynomial, fourth or however you want to do this, these areas here will be, the voltage will be turned on. So of course we're doing this for the purposes of circuits. <laughs> so I'm assuming this is like in volts and this is in time. Uh, this is in seconds. That's in volts. So for 285, we're only going to do uh, first order coefficients there or terms you know of, of time and the question I think that the student had was how do I have how do I do if you if you give us two functions added or subtracted and a, a scalar so let's say if I tell I ask you and I will ask you to plot to draw uh, a function of time that's like this, um, let's say 2u of t minus 10 plus 3u of uh, minus 3t minus 5 plus 5. What I do here is evaluate this one by one, so it's like um, dividing and conquering. So we're gonna do this guy here. What happens is t minus 10, I want to know when it's larger than zero, which is when 10 is lar when t is larger than 10. The second one, I also wanna know when minus t minus five is larger than zero, which is when minus t is larger than five or when t is less than minus 5. So when you switch signs, remember you have to switch signs. Plus, oh my gosh, I hated this when I took this in school. So these are the two conditions that I got to remember, and I can draw these two very simply. So this one is multiplied by 2. So what happens is if I make uh, this and I draw it here, it's 2u of t minus 10 and it's zero everywhere, but then it goes to two. Oh my Lord. Then, how about I draw some other color? It's zero everywhere, and it goes to two for t larger than 10. So if this is 10 seconds, this is two volts. So this is actually in volts. The second one, the purple one, I'm also gonna draw this in purple, and I'm gonna align it with it, it's my 3u of minus t minus 5. This one, for t less than minus 5, and let's say minus 5 is here. This is 3, 
and then it goes to zero. Finally, the last one, doesn't really matter much, is just five volts. So on top of this, I'm gonna add five volts, so plus five. So in the end, really, I'm gonna add these three. A lot of you will not draw the individual graphs, which is fine on the exam. The problem is if you only draw the final graph and it's wrong, and I cannot check that this is correct, this is correct, and this is correct, I can't give you partial credit. So if this is a 10 point question, um, and you got it all right, of course you get 10 points, but let's say you mess up because you forgot the five, you still get five or six points for these two. Um, so now I go by part, so I know that I have to change. There, there's a step here at minus five, and I know there's another step here at 10. And now I add, so this was zero from here. There's, uh, there's three from here. There's three volts from this and five. So I see there's eight volts here. So there's eight volts, but then at minus five, I lose three. So I only have the five. So there's zero here, there's zero here, and there's five here. So I go to five volts, five, eight, this is volts. At zero, nothing changes, so it stays at five, all the way to 10. So this is zero, this is zero, this is five. After 10, then I get two volts from this, I get zero from this, and I get five from this. So two plus five is seven, so it goes up to seven. So this, unfortunately I'm using the same uh, pen for the axis and for the function, I'm sorry. So this here is the function. It goes then to seven. And this one is eight. A little badly drawn, but I hope this clarifies what I'm expecting you to do uh, on the exam. The reason this is part of circuits is that a long, long time ago, I would give you a function like this and ask you to tell me what's happening with the capacitor or with the inductor in an RCRL. And sometimes in an RLC, what happens, like until minus five, you would find initial conditions and do the um, um, second order differential equation for this part here, then for this part. So it's called sequentially switched circuits, so sequential switches. So this works as a switch in an electric circuit if you can program voltages over time. I hope this clarifies the U of T question. If not, please ask me more questions in the comments.